An amoeba moves across the field at 25 times real speed. This cell has eaten numerous green algae, now contained in digestive vacuoles. Movement is generated from cytoplasmic streaming by actin microfilaments. These nude epithelial cells, cultured on glass slides, show very thin cell margins that are continuously active due to movement of the actin cytoskeleton. Also visible are a large nucleus containing a small nucleolus, small vacuoles, and mitochondria, which appear in the later sequences as long, thin, spidery structures. This sequence is shown at 100 times real speed. In this real-time sequence of a Tratoscontia stamen hair cell, a prominent nucleus and cytoplasmic streaming are visible. The nucleus is centrally suspended by cytoplasmic strands, which display typical bidirectional streaming generated by the cell's actin cytoskeleton. This amoeba has a prominent nucleus and visible nucleolus shown at 25 times real speed. The cytoplasmic streaming is mediated by actin microfilaments. This onion epidermal cell shown in real time has a prominent endoplasmic reticulum. In this real-time sequence of the diatom surarella, the nucleus, which is flanked by brown chloroplasts and the rod-shaped Golgi bodies, are visible. The numerous rod-shaped bodies, located on the periphery of the nucleus, are Golgi bodies seen edge-on. Chlorochrysis is a flagellated marine golden alga, phytoplankton with brown pigments. This organism secretes coccoliths from its Golgi cisterni. In this sequence, shown at 200 times real speed, the mature scales are secreted one at a time as the Golgi membrane fuses with the cell membrane. This sequence shows a PTK-cultured cell in which numerous mitochondria and a faint network of endoplasmic reticulum are visible. Note the tumbling motion and irregular shapes of the mitochondria. Each cell in this colony of the green alga Pediastrum simplex has one large green chloroplast. This golden alga, Sonura species, shown at real time, and many other golden algae, have brown pigments, predominantly chlorophylls A and C. Red algae have a variety of pigments, predominantly chlorophyll A, while most appear as various shades of red-brown, some, like this Croodactylans, are blue-green. Lipidodinium, a very unusual dinoflagellate, has green endosymbionts instead of the usual brown chloroplasts. The typical dinoflagellate nucleus contains numerous large chromosomes. The green algal symbionts supply photosynthetic products to the host organisms. Paramecium bursaria in nature are almost always full of symbionts. These cells are also actively feeding. Many cells can be seen being swallowed, capturing and ingesting other algae. The green algal symbionts supply photosynthetic products to the host organism.
This sequence, shown in real time, shows the vacuole and its function, salt and water balance, in the green alga Microsterius and the streaming generated by the actin cytoskeleton. Many fish, like this squirrel fish, Holocentris, have pigmented cells called chromatophores in their scales, which enable them to change color. The internal radial cytoskeleton of these cells consists of microtubules, which direct the movement of pigment particles, resulting in dramatic color change in the organism. The color change in these sequences has been speeded up 20 to 100 times. These black pigmented cells, melanophores, are from the fish Fundalusi. The cilia of this paramecium generate strong currents carrying prey to the gullet where they are tasted. The arrows show clamidomonad cells being ingested into a feeding vacuole, which is pinched off at the base of the gullet and moved into the cell. A high magnification view of the Volvox colony edge shows the tiny vegetative cells and their flagella extending from the colony. They are synchronized and reverse direction all together. Overall, they generate strong currents that propel the colony. The flagellar movement is generated by the sliding of microtubules. This organism, the biflagellated green alga, Hematococcus, is shown in real time. The movement of this organism, the euglenoid Facus, is generated by its flagellum. This sequence is shown in real time. In this real-time sequence, multicellular animals, rotifers, are feeding, sucking prey organisms into the gullet. The high magnification sequence shows ingested cells being crushed by plates at the entrance to the stomach. These are stomatal complexes in the epidermis of leaves of Tratoscantia, speeded up about 25 times. The walls are thick and tough. The guard cells, which expand and contract to regulate water loss, and the stomata, the pores, are clearly visible.